Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Welcome to Bible Learners Corner. The Bible in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 talks about all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture is God breathed. All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Paul writing to Timothy and advising him to trust in the Word of God. The Word of God, the Holy Scripture that is being given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness scripture that is God breathed and is useful for doctrine, for teaching, for rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. As we read in the second Timothy chapter three verse fourteen to sixteen, Paul talking to Timothy says but you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. With the guiding of the Holy Spirit, someone should be able to understand the things of God, the Word of God has been given through inspiration of the Holy Spirit. The Word of God given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, who is the author of the Word of God. With the guiding of the Holy Spirit, someone should be able to understand the hidden deep things of God that can only be revealed by the Holy Spirit. Paul, as he talks to Timothy, saying, But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures which are able to make you wise for salvation that comes through faith which is in Christ Jesus. We need to understand that Scripture can make someone wise. God speaks to his people through his word. Jesus said, Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Read this in the book of Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. Man must live by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. The word 
that is given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. The word that is God breathed and the word that is given by inspiration of God, the word that is profitable for doctrine, for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. We read the book of Isaiah chapter 55, talking about the word of God that comes down from heaven The word of God that comes down from heaven and does not return there void, but it accomplishes the purpose for which God has sent it. God sends forth his word from heaven to mankind that we may receive the word and live by the word of God. That's why we need to understand that the Word of God is the only way through which mankind can receive salvation and receiving salvation that will lead someone into righteousness, becoming the righteousness of God by faith which is in Christ Jesus, someone becoming the righteousness of God. And through hearing and obeying the word of God, as James says, being hearers and doers of the word of God, someone becomes one in Christ. Someone becomes character of Jesus Christ. Therefore, someone becoming wise, becoming saved through faith which is in Christ Jesus. This one can only happen if someone believes in the Word of God. word that comes from heaven, whoever shall receive the word, meditate on the word. Trusting in the word, they become wise. They are saved through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. The one saved, someone becomes the righteousness of God when someone is the righteousness of God by faith in Christ Jesus, we need to live in holiness and as someone lives in holiness, they start shining in glory. That's what God wants us to do, to become righteous, walking in holiness being led by the Holy Spirit, walking in righteousness and holiness. Without holiness, no one can see God. We'll be back shortly. We thank you and we're going to talk more about the Word of God and how it can make someone wise, how the word of God makes someone wise. Mm -hmm. 
stay blessed and shalom.